All right, guys, so in this small little video today, uh, it's gonna be some boring stuff. I'm gonna clean my car. It's been icy, salty, all sorts of nasty. So, um, yeah, pick some stuff up from Harbor Freight, pick some stuff up from Walmart. Um, gonna head to the house, unload everything. Then we're gonna get to clean it. Uh, you'll see the products I kind of use just to keep my car looking nice and perfect. Uh, it's not perfect. It's a daily driver. So it's not perfect, guys. But I enjoy it. It's what I use to clean, and I think it works really well. Uh, also got some wiper blades to go and put on it. So, yeah, that's gameplay. I know it's not that big of a video. I know it's not anything too fancy. But that is what we got going on today. And then we're going to talk about the Dodge pickup. We're going to talk about what is going to be happening in future episodes or future videos or vlogs or any of that sort you want to talk about or call it. Um, that's what we're going to do today, guys. So as soon as I get to the house, we're going to get started on that. And yeah, so step boring out with the long freaking drive home. This is how video magic works. Woo, just like that. We're back. So, guy almost pulled out and hit me. That's what happens when you park like a dick. Just kidding. Don't do that though. Don't be that dick. So, uh, pulling pretty much into the driveway now. Just got a little bit left to go. So, yeah, that's how video magic works. 47 minutes of driving in like a matter of a minute. So, uh, gonna roll in here, get everything emptied up. Found out the wife's Jeep is parked in my way. So, Gonna get that moved, get my car situated, and go from there. So, yeah. Ready for that video magic one more time? Next thing you know, we're gonna talk about the spray that we're gonna use because we just picked one up from Harbor Freight. So, yeah, let's get started. All right, guys. So, we are now back at the house. Um, just finished gathering up all the uh, loose, like, clothes and everything like that I had in the car. Um, I'm not doing a really deep clean on the inside of the car because I got to get it vacuumed and everything and I don't have a shop vac. So uh, we're going to head out here, check out the new stuff that we got, mix it in with some of the old stuff we have, and see what it does for us. So yeah, let's get started on cleaning this thing. All right, guys, it's time to be realistic. You know it's bad when you have to wash your wash bucket. Don't know if y'all can see all this wood behind me. I'm cutting, making a pantry. Yeah, it's covered in sawdust. So we're gonna do that first. That's what we're gonna do. <sighs> it's horrible. Ah, look at it. We gotta clean it, guys, we gotta clean it. So let's get started on that first. guys look at this product here that we have going on here so I'm gonna start off here with the turtle wax it's gonna be the ceramic wash picked up some wash mitts some tire and wheel cleaners microfiber or I'm sorry not microfiber a little dry towel um, this is gonna be something that I've never used before but it's a little spray foam uh, we're gonna use that for this after the first initial clean so that'll be nice um, definitely, just like in all my other videos for Windows, Rain X. So good. Then you guys, I don't know if you guys can see this, but this does say dash and glass. But uh, I use it strictly on dashes. I know it says dash and glass, and you're like, you have Rain X for a glass cleaner. Well, let me tell you guys. Rain X doesn't make interior cleaner. But Turtle Wax does, and it's good. And then I have my bug and tar remover. Which, thankfully, it's been cold as crap. I don't even know if I'm going to need it, but I got it out. 
This is what I normally use to clean with. Got the bucket clean. So, yeah. That's what we're going to do because I'll flip it around show you guys. It's filthy. It's absolutely filthy. So let's look. Oh, God. It's so horrible. She needs a bath of bad, guys. And that's what we're going to do because a daily driver can't look this bad, in my opinion. It, they can. They can. But they shouldn't. So that's what we're going to do today, guys. We're going to give this thing a good cleaning on the outside. So, yeah. Let's get started. Bam, so much shinier already. It is still wet. Used that ceramic, so once we dry it, it should look pretty awesome. So now, dry towel. <laughs> ceramic tell me that wash stuff don't work guys i don't believe it y'all can tell me that all day long but i will never believe it this stuff is phenomenal let you guys see what it looks like after it's dried and then we'll just have to do a deep cleaning of the wheels we'll get the uh, dash and glass in and then uh, let's see here windshield wipers and we'll be done and I apologize for the wind guys it's picking up it's about to storm here but I had a whole bunch of salt and stuff on my car and it needed to get clean so I know it's kind of hard to tell at the moment, guys, but she's clean. She is clean. Shiny. All right, guys, it's getting late. Um, I know that was a very quick video. I did not show you all the foam park, and that is simply because I actually decided I'm going to do a review over that for you guys. It'll be a completely separate video. That's going to be us unboxing it and throwing it together. Um, a recommendation on buying a set of extra O-rings just in case you happen to snap the one it comes with um yeah i pinched it and it ripped so that's part of it but it leaked a lot yeah uh wheels still need to be done but i don't know if y'all can tell it looks like it's about to storm here and i'm not putting that much effort into this it's a daily driver and it's never not gonna be anything else besides a daily driver so that being the case, it's a workhorse. Gets me to and from. Um, news for the channel on another subject. So, guys, the Dodge. Um, we have people coming to look at it here in actually just a few hours. And we're going to see if that thing gets sold. 
um, brand drove replaced filter uh, still had a rear main seal leak but other than that um, you know he couldn't afford the money to put into it and uh, I don't blame him it's, it's the right call it's the right call to do um, it's one of those things if it was sentimental to him and he couldn't get rid of it that's when you spend the countless money and get it fixed um, you know it wasn't ethical for him on the other note to that Remember this, at a thousand subscribers, we are doing the tool giveaway. So you guys um, know that at a thousand, will be a tool to give away. What needs to happen is when we hit that thousand, I'm gonna post a video. It's going to be a, hey, we are now at a thousand and we are gonna do the giveaway. And then this is the video that you have to like, comment, and say why you deserve the tools. We're going to do that there, and then whoever has the best reasoning as to why they deserve the tools, that's what we're going to do, and that's who's going to win it. If you happen to be close, I would probably drive by. If you happen to be far away, I'll ship it. I'll pay shipping. So you guys keep that in mind. Keep sharing. Keep liking the videos. And let's see if we can't hit that thousand mark and get us going for the start of 2021. And after that, peace out and we'll see y'all in the next video.